Welcome to the Rotax family. Before unpacking your new aircraft engine, take a few moments to register it with Rotax. Follow along with this quick and simple walkthrough of the Rotax aircraft engine online registration tool. First, why register an engine with Rotax? The foremost benefit is pre-registration for any potential warranty situations. In the case of a warranty claim, Rotax will require that the engine's serial number is first registered. Registering your engine ahead of time will streamline any future warranty claim. As more and more aircraft engines are registered, Rotax is better able to understand the geographical distribution of its fleet. Over time, this allows Rotax to adjust their service network and parts availability accordingly. Upcoming enhancements include tailored service information based on your registered engines. By the way, engine registration is not limited to new engines only. You can still register older engines regardless of their warranty status or calendar age. Written instructions for navigating the engine registration system are available as a service letter. Before starting the registration process, you'll need the engine serial number and propeller information such as manufacturer, model, and serial number. Engine serial numbers are located on the engine type plate. The engine type plate for Rotax 582 aircraft engines is located on the rear or mag end of the crankcase. 912 and 914 series aircraft engines have their type plates located on top of the rear ignition housing. 912 IS and 915 IS series engines have their type plates located behind the gearbox on the upper front of the crankcase. All aircraft engine serial numbers consist of seven digits. UL or non-certified engines have a black engine type plate, while certified engine type plates are red. Open your favorite browser. I'm using Google Chrome here, but the engine registration tool is compatible with many other browsers. Enter the official Rotax Aircraft Engines website by typing www.flyrotax.com. From the home page, click on the Services tab, then on Engine Registration. If you haven't visited this website before, or you've cleared your browser's cookies, you may notice a bar at the bottom of your browser. Click on Read More if you want to see Rotax's cookie policy, and click on I Agree, and this bar will disappear and you won't be asked again. Begin by entering the seven-digit serial number with no dashes, dots, or commas. If the serial number is not valid, an error note will appear in red. This means that the serial number entered is not listed in the database of actual serial numbers manufactured. If you receive this error, verify that the serial number entered matches the engine type plate. If you still receive this error, contact your local Rotax authorized distributor or their independent service centers for further assistance. If the serial number entered has already been registered with Rotax, a tip note will appear stating that the engine's already registered. In this case, you will be allowed to continue the registration process. However, the submission will need to be manually checked by Rotax and it may take longer to take effect. It is possible that the aircraft OEM has already pre-registered the engine on behalf of the end user. Enter a valid email address and enter it once again in the field below to confirm. It's important that you enter a valid email address that you have access to. The registration system will send you a confirmation email upon submission. It's required that you click on the confirmation link within this email to complete the registration. The email confirmation process is covered in more detail later in this video. If the email address entered has already been used and is recognized by the registration system, 
a tip note will appear in red saying, We already know you. Personal data associated with the email address will already be in the registration system, and you'll not be asked to re-enter the information. If changes are required to the saved information, you'll have the opportunity to change this later when reviewing and confirming the submission request. If the email address entered has not already been registered, a tip note will appear in red saying, We do not know you yet, and further personal data will be required. Personal information gathered will be kept private and confidential. You can read the Rotax Aircraft Engine's privacy policy by scrolling to the bottom of the page and clicking on Privacy Policy. Click on the checkbox to accept the consent form. A copy of the consent form can be downloaded by clicking on the Consent Form link. In order to reduce registration submissions from automated spammers, you must click on the checkbox beside I am not a robot. You may be asked to solve a simple puzzle to confirm. With this basic information entered and the two checkboxes checked, click on Next. If a new unregistered email address is used, the next page will require that further personal information be entered. If the email address is already registered, the registration tool will automatically skip the next step. You'll have the opportunity to change or update this personal information before final submission. Enter the standard personal information requested. All fields with an asterisk are required. There's an optional checkbox to subscribe to Rotax newsletters. With personal information entered, click on Next. Of course, at any point, you can click on Back to recheck or change information on previous pages. On this next page, enter the aircraft information by choosing from the available pull-down menu options. Enter the aircraft's registration number or tail number. If the aircraft has not yet received a registration number, enter in Not Registered. With the aircraft information entered, click on Next. On this last page, you'll be asked for details of your propeller used on the engine. Now, why does Engine Registration System ask for propeller information? There are specific requirements for propellers used on Rotax aircraft engines, such as maximum torque and maximum mass moment of inertia. Details on propeller requirements are found in the latest revision of the relevant engine's installation manual. With the propeller manufacturer and model number, as well as propeller diameter in millimeters, and the number of blades is entered, click on Send. When the registration system has accepted your information, the next page will show Submit Success. The registration system will now send a confirmation email to the address entered in the first entry screen. The email address will be from BRP Rotax. If you don't receive a confirmation email within a few moments, check your email client's junk or spam folders. You may need to add the following email address to your email client's whitelist or safe senders list. No reply dot outbound at brp.com. As I mentioned earlier, the completion of the registration process requires that you click on the link within the confirmation email. Note that the link in the confirmation email expires in 48 hours. This link will take you back to the Rotax website and you'll be presented with a summary of the information that you entered. You may now edit any information if required. Once you've reviewed the information as correct, click on Submit. Then you will see the final Submit Success screen. A final confirmation email will now be sent to you showing successful registration and summarizing your entered details.
the engine's now registered for ownership and warranty purposes. You can find more videos on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax. Mm -hmm.